In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up on web hosting and install WordPress on your domain name within just a few minutes using Hostinger. Now, Hostinger is one of my most preferred web hosting companies that I use for all of my websites just because it is so reliable and affordable. Now, below this video, I'll put a link that will take you to the special offers that Hostinger is always offering. And normally, this is what you're going to see where you get up to 77% off or more. But if you scroll down, these are going to be your main options here. So here you're going to choose which plan you want. If you're only going to build one or two websites, then just use the premium plan. There's no reason to spend more money on these other ones if you're not planning on adding a lot more websites. All these plans also include a free domain name, which is going to save you another 10 to $12. So what you want to do is just come up here and click on add to cart. And then you want to come down here and choose a period. So the longer that you prepay for, the cheaper it's going to be. This is the way it works with all web host companies. You can do 12 months. This is normally what we do, and it includes a free domain name. And if we scroll down, you can see here that the 12-month plan is only going to cost you $41.88, and you're going to have a full year of web hosting and a domain name where you can build out your entire business. So the next step is you're going to create your account. And here you can either enter your email address and a password you want to use, or you can sign up through Google or Facebook here. And then you're going to scroll down and put in your credit card information or PayPal or however you want to pay. And then you're going to submit your payment. Now, right after you make your purchase, it's going to redirect you to a page like this. Now, obviously over time, Hostinger will be updating their site and their process, how it works. So it may change a little bit. Just continue to follow the steps as closely as possible. We're going to click on start now. Now here it's going to say, who are you creating the website for? What I want you to do is go down here and click on skip. I don't want personalized appearance. And then here you're also going to click skip, create an empty website. And then right here, you're going to click on claim a free domain. So we're going to click on select. And now you're going to type in the domain name you want to add to your hosting account. Remember, this comes free with your hosting plan. So I found a domain I really like called ezingy.com. We're going to search for it. It is available, so let's continue. Now we just fill out our contact details. This is going to be used for personal. Next, now you're going to enter your contact details. Make sure your email is valid because they are going to ask you to verify the domain ownership once you process this. So we'll go ahead and click finish. Now here you can see that they're giving you your server location, which mine's in North America, which is great because that just means it's going to be faster. My domain name is good. We're going to click finish setup. Meanwhile, I'm going to jump over and check my email. You can see here that I did get an email from Hostinger to verify my email address. So all I'm going to do is click verify email and that's going to be verified. Now I'm going to jump back here to Hostinger. You can see here it says, well done, you are ready. So here we can click to view our website or go to our control panel. We want to go to our control panel and manage our website. So let's click here. So here we can see the details of our website. Now, normally when you log into your hosting or account, it's going to take you here to the home page where you can see this. All you have to do is come up here and click on websites. And you can see your domain here that you just purchased along with your hosting plan. Now, once you get WordPress installed, another button will show up here where you can click it to log straight into your WordPress account. Since it's not installed yet, we're going to click on manage. And right here we have auto installer. So we're going to click that and then WordPress. And now we're going to fill out some details. So for website credentials, we're going to give this a title. I'm just going to go ahead and call mine eZingy for now. I want to make sure my valid email address is in here. And then I want to set up a username and password to log into my WordPress website with. This is very important and you need to write down your username and password. This is what you are going to provide us with when you purchase your website so we can log into your WordPress website and upload your new website to it. Then you're going to click next. You're going to click install and we're going to give it just a minute. Now, once this is done, it's going to take us over to our hosting section here where you can see everything has been set up. Now, I don't want to use this feature here. I'm just going to click skip now to get rid of it so we can see more of what's going on here. So this basically just gives us an overview of our hosting account and what we have. Everything is done for you automatically here. Everything is installed for you. They even install an SSL certificate for you so you don't have to mess with that. So now WordPress is installed and you're ready to go. Now there's two ways you can log into your WordPress website. 
One is you can come into Hostinger into your account. You can see right here, there's a button for admin panel. If you click that, it's gonna log you straight into your WordPress account. This is great, especially if you forget what your username and password is. You can always log into Hostinger, come here, and just click here to log into your account. Now, since we installed WordPress, if we jump back over to our websites, you can see now that there is a button here also for admin panel. And if we click it, it's going to take us straight into our hosting our account to log into it. And finally, the other way you can log into your website by using your username and password is by entering your domain name that you just purchased in the address bar and then put a forward slash WP dash admin. When you do this, it's going to take you to an actual login page for your WordPress site where you can enter your username and password and you can log in directly this way if you prefer. So that's all there is to it. Within just a few minutes, you can have your own domain name, your own web hosting and WordPress installed and ready for us to build it out into a professional website.